I mean, let's let's soak in a moment. Just renewed for season two. So many congratulations. Is this your first time at the Vanity Fair Oscars party? My first time at the Vanity Fair Oscars party. What a party it is. What My goodness. Wow. Well, as, as um, you guys just said, a big West Philly moment. Can we talk about the West Philly moment of the evening? Did you watch the Oscars? I did watch the Oscars. And like many of us, I watched it all. Let me just say it was a wonderful ceremony. There was a lot of beautiful moments. I just think it was actually one of the best Oscars I've seen in recent time. I will say that I hope that our friends, Chris Rock and Will Smith, can reconcile later. Congrats to Will Smith, by the way, for winning this award. I'm very proud of him. I'm a West Philly native as well, and I'm just super proud of him. And I kind of want to focus on that part of the night because it's a big deal for him. And, um, you know, I want to focus on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, I think we were all in such shock. Ever, no one knew what to do. And, and you know, now there's going to be the online chatter and, and yeah. people are going to respond and say, should have done this way, should have done this way. What do you say to people when they have a lot of opinions about this? Evening? I say you don't know what's going on between two people. And maybe that was between them. And I know it's hard because it happened and the internet happens and it's everyone's business, but I think it's their business. I'm just trying to have a good time. By the way, who are you wearing? I see them later and I'm like, guys, let's talk about this. <laughs> If, if, if they walked in right now, what do you do? I'd be like, come on, boys, Chris, well, let's talk. Because I feel both, the comedian side, the West Philly side. I would talk, we'd have something to eat, we'd have a good time. It'd be all right, it'd be over. Okay. By the way, who are you wearing? You look like. I'm wearing custom Dolce and Gabbana. It's a good sentence. <laughs> it's a good sentence. I really want to say thank you to them because being a small girl, getting you know stuff that fits exactly right can be a little bit hard, and Dolce and Gabbana has really taken the time to fit me. We ask everybody, what's one secret about your look? One secret about my look is I got to go to the Dolce & Gabbana showroom for the first time and that was an experience. Felt like I was a little girl in like a Disney movie, like with a montage and everything. <laughs> it was so sweet and they were so lovely and um, it was a good time. So, uh, yeah. What, I mean, what a year, what a time it's been for you. How good did that season two renewal feel and how have you felt about all the praise? Some people calling this the next office. I'm excited about people having a show that they can feel good about watching with their families again. That means a lot to me. That's part of why I created it. I wanted everyone to feel good watching it together. Yeah. So I'm happy that we have another season of television to be able to do that with. And as far as it being compared to these big shows, clearly that's incredible <laughs> and I'm very humbled by that. But I think ultimately what people are relating to is that feeling of watching a sitcom again, a brand new one, that feeling of pop in, pop out television and just having joy and laughs. And that's really what I wanted to bring to the table so I'm happy that you know we're doing this. So what ideas do you have for season two? Where will things go? I, I just want people to have more fun, more laughs, more laughs, more fun, a good time, more heart. <laughs>